Well, thanks for logging in tonight. Uh, my name is Hunter Churchill. I am uh, an associate director of admissions at Proctor. I've uh, I've been here for about eleven years, um, and I'm really excited. Well, actually, I graduated from Proctor too, so you can add a few more years on there. Um, but I'm really excited to uh, get going with this uh, event tonight um, as part of our virtual event series. Uh, we'll be talking about athletics and afternoon programming. And uh, before I jump in, we're gonna. I just want to give a, a little bit more info. Um, this event will be recorded tonight, just so you know. Um, you'll be muted, and what we want is, uh, and really what we encourage is for you to put questions into the chat box, so you guys all know how to do that. Um, and I have six students with us on the panel, and so I'm going to give a, a brief overview, and and then we're really just going to jump into a Q and A um, session. So it looks like we've got a good number of people in. So we're going to jump and, uh, and get on this. All right. All right, so afternoon programming at Proctor. Um, basically, it incorporates a lot. Um, we've got team sports, we've got outdoor sports, uh, we loop in community service, we loop in the arts. Um, and basically, I want to start just by showing some of our facilities. Um, and just to kind of give you a little bit more info there. Uh, so just to kind of jump right into it. Let's see. Um, so we do have two turf fields on the center of campus. Um, one is lined for really for field hockey and boys lacrosse. Um, you'll see some, it's the field on the right there, but you'll see some soccer lines as well. And the big field is lined for just about everything and has lights uh, for some exciting under the light games. Um, we've got a newly renovated gym. And again, just bear with me, but we'll just kind of buzz through these pretty quick, um, but newly renovated gym, uh, which incorporates a turf strip for CrossFit training, strength and conditioning. And right adjacent to that is, uh, is a really nice weight room. Um, no, there isn't a mirror in the back that's making it look way larger than it is. Um, it's really that big, uh, fits a lot of students in there. Uh, we also have our own hockey rink on campus. Um, it's, uh, it's really, really nice with, with bright lights, a um, little bit wider than professional, not quite Olympic size. Um, and I'm, it also has uh, cameras. So we live stream all of our athletic events uh, on campus. So that's on the playing fields um, or in the hockey rink. We also sit on 2,500 acres of land, which incorporates almost 17 miles of trails. We've got a river um, that flows through campus that we utilize for you know, kayaking and some water sports. Um, we own and operate our own ski hill, uh, something that you might've seen in our literature already, but it's got a, a ski jump. It's got a US FIS homologated downhill. Um, and it also has Nordic trail system that's built in around it. Uh, and we have multiple groups kind of utilizing that, but we do a little freestyle over there. We've got our downhill. And then you got the Nordic. Um, with that comes a, a new building, the Proctor as well, which is our outdoor center. Uh, this outdoor center is storage for mountain bikes. It's got a uh, mountain bike shop. It's got ski tuning, ski shop, uh, rock wall, uh, and it's been utilized pretty heavily already. Um, and just to kind of go back to the big picture, it, it's just really important, I think, for everyone to know, um, kind of going into this Q&A that, you know, we do compete in team sports and we compete at a really high level and we're uh, consistently sending student athletes to play in college. Um, and really the goal is, is to have, you know, a great experience and, and to see growth um, and really encourage that out of the kids. Um, so you're going to see that team side of it. You know, we compete in the NEPSAC, uh, we play in the Lakes region. So our kind of core competitors are gonna be schools like St. Paul's, New Hampton, Holderness, uh, KUA, um, but it's not our whole identity. Um, and, and that's really important too. Um, you know, afternoon programming for us really has a place for everybody to land. So, you know, we have students that 
you know, maybe they do play a team sport like uh, soccer in the fall, and there's going to be a varsity team, a JV team, and sometimes a JV2 team. Um, you know, we've got a community service projects uh, happening. We've got rock climbing. We've got um, dance and theater. Um, all these things are incorporated in the afternoon programming. And the way our programming works is on a trimester system. So we have students um, basically signing up mandatory for something in the afternoons in the fall, winter, and spring. Um, and I also uh, just wanted to put in a little recap from the weekend. Um, so on Friday night, we had a girls varsity field hockey game against Holderness School, which was a 4 nothing victory. And then our boys uh, football team came back to beat Canterbury School with three seconds left to go on the clock. And so I just wanna share a short video. <laughs> Oh, I got kicked out. Hold on one second here. So it also is pretty exciting to be a super fan <laughs> at Proctor. Um, we're just going to jump back into the screen share. All right. So I'm going to let um, I'm going to let our let's see. I'm going to let our panelists introduce themselves, um, and we're going to kind of jump right in. And, and as they introduce themselves, I would encourage you to start um, putting some questions into uh, the chat. So we're going to start with Ella. Go ahead. Hi, guys. My name is Ella McKechnie. Um, I am a three-year junior here at Proctor. Um, I currently live in Andover, but I'm originally from Needham, Massachusetts. Um, and I play mountain, I'm on the mountain biking team. Um, the varsity alpine skiing team and then also JV girls across um, and that yeah those are my current sports right now I came into Proctor um, with the plan to play soccer um, and then a week before school started I was talking to the mountain biking coaches and got hooked onto the idea of being on the team and so I switched over to mountain biking team the mountain biking team and it's been amazing and it's a really fun environment but yeah Awesome, thanks, Ella. Um, hey, everyone. My name is Brody Chipman. I am a two-year uh, two-year senior. Excuse me. I am from Cambridge, Vermont. Uh, it's about thirty minutes north of Burlington. Um, I'm on the USA FIS team. I played a little varsity soccer. Um, I play varsity lacrosse, and currently, this fall, I'm doing weight room. All right, Catherine. Hey guys, I'm Catherine Flanagan. Um, I'm a four year senior. My hometown is Lexington, Mass. Um, and I play varsity field hockey, JV hockey, which is a lot of fun. I was not a good skater and now I like compete with ice hockey. So it's fun, um, not varsity level, but it's a good time. And then varsity lacrosse as well. All right, Stuart. Hi, I'm Stuart Kane. Um, I am a four year senior. I do mountain biking, uh, varsity alpine, and last spring I did kayaking. This spring I will be off campus. Uh, I came in not really sure what sports I was doing. I wasn't really any kind of an athlete, uh, but especially in mountain biking, uh, having done it all four years, I went from having never really mountain biked to being a mountain biker, if you will. So it's a really cool place to grow, if nothing else. All right, Lucy. Hi, I'm Lucy Werner. Um, I'm from South Hamilton, Massachusetts. I play varsity field hockey. I did varsity Nordic skiing my first year here. I'm also 
a three year senior. And then last year I did uh, weight room and I also play varsity tennis. And uh, Trey. Hey guys, I'm Trey. I'm a three year senior at Proctor. Um, I live right up the road from the school, 20 minute drive. And I'm on the varsity soccer, hockey and baseball team. All right, great. So I'm gonna stop sharing. And uh, I got my, my chat open here. And I think um, just to kind of get things kickstarted, um, you know, obviously the, the, the search for a good boarding school, the right boarding school um, can be daunting at times, um, but, you know, kind of on topic with athletics, maybe you guys can talk a little bit about the process for you looking at schools um, and really ultimately how you landed at Proctor and maybe how that sport played a role in that. Um, I can start. So um, while looking at boarding schools, it definitely was very daunting, like Hunter said, but there was a lot of aspects of Proctor that really drew me to the school. One of them being um, the off-campus programs. I've been lucky enough to go to Costa Rica my sophomore winter, and I'm also leaving this winter for Winter Ocean, which is a really new cool program that's being offered in the winter and it's usually offered just in the fall but um field hockey is always my main sport and so I wanted a more competitive level so that's why I decided to go to boarding school um, and play field hockey um the team's been great we really have developed our team a lot um and we beat Holden this like under said four to zero and we haven't beaten them in a really long time and we're going to continue to win some games. Um, we have a game coming up tomorrow against KUA. Um, we beat them last week in overtime. Um, so hopefully we have another, another win from KUA, but that's pretty much what drew me to Proctor was the off campuses and being able to also competitively play many different sports that I was interested in. I can go. Um, I didn't really have much idea at all as far as sports is concerned. Um, I liked to run around and do stuff with my body, but I was never really much of an athlete, never really played soccer or anything like that. Um, so I was a big fan of the variety that there was here. Um, I knew that regardless of what I ended up wanting to do, there would be something in that direction. Um, and that's been the case. I've done all sorts of different things, especially in the spring term. I've sort of bounced around every year, which has been really cool. I can go. Um, so previous to Proctor, I was going to my public high school and I knew my freshman year, I really wanted to play post high school and continue playing club, but my public school wasn't really doing that for me. So Proctor really had a lot of opportunities for better competition and better play to really make me a better player as well. Yeah, I'll go. I was, uh, I was in a similar boat to Lucy that I think at my old public school, it kind of felt like the sports there weren't really doing it for me. So I kind of looked into Proctor and I saw that all three sports that I cared about, I could play at a very high level here. And I can say that I've every single sport I've played at Proctor, I've played against really good players and I've played with guys that go on to continue at the college level. So definitely have more than exceeded my expectations of the level athletics here. Um, definitely a similar situation to Trey and Lucy. Um, I'm a big alpine skier. And even back during my public school days, freshman and sophomore year, I was sort of like falling out of love with skiing. But then um, the USSA FIS program here is super strong. It's a great group of guys. We all are super competitive with each other. And then coming to Proctor, I didn't really know much about it. But then I had sort of like refound that love for skiing. And also I'm a big lacrosse player too in the spring and uh, up in Northern Vermont, the lacrosse isn't very strong, but coming down to Proctor, the competition is super high and very competitive, which is something that I really enjoy playing. Um, so I have kind of a different experience from everyone else. Um, my two older sisters attended Proctor and graduated. Um, and they were both, one of my sisters did field hockey and the other played soccer and I was pretty committed to the soccer path. Um, but I loved the, when I was like going through my own process of inquiring about the school, 
Um, I loved like what the school had to offer, the different sports in mountain biking and kayaking. And I loved how I was able to just, had never biked mountain biked before and was able to just hop on the team and develop skills um, and continue to learn, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in there. Um, that's, um, that's a really interesting point because there are a lot of programs here and there's a lot of different things kids can get um, involved with. And I think maybe you can speak more, Ella or someone else, um, just about like what that support is like once you're in this community to like try new sports or to get involved with something different than maybe you had done in the past. Yeah, um, it's super common to switch sports at Proctor. Um, and very, a very welcome change. Um, I know at my other school and the school I had planned on attending, it's a very committed, like you commit to sport and you go on to play that sport and see that goal um, through. But here it's very like common and it's supported um, to switch your sport and try something new and um, learn a new skill and develop it. Um, and everyone is very supportive of you doing that. My coaches have been amazing um, teaching someone with zero skill um, in that area. Yeah. Um, I can add on to that a bit. But so I had no clue what I want to do in the winter. Um, I've never had really like a winter sport. And so my freshman year, a lot of these girls were like, oh, like try JV hockey. Like, it'll be really fun. And I used to ice skate when I was younger. So I was like, oh, I might as well try it out, even though it's always awful at skating. Um, but anyway, so I tried it out. Um, they had like the bees and the hornets for JV hockey. And I was a bee in the beginning because I was a beginner. But eventually everyone became a hornet and became high level JV hockey player, um, so to say. And it was really fun and I still do it. Um, I did it last winter, my freshman year. I didn't do it my sophomore year and I won't do it this year, but pretty much it's just like a really fun group of girls who like, it's all, we're kind of like all in it together where we don't, we're not completely sure what we're doing, but there are also are like competitive teams we play and some kids are competitive on our team. Um, so it's a really like fun group and something like new to try and everyone's super like welcoming. So it's awesome. I have something to add here. Um, my freshman year, spring term, I had no idea what to do. So I came in and sort of wandered around, not really sure. And then I ended up at Drama Tech. So I was backstage helping with the play, building sets, that, that track of things. Um, and that was really cool. And then the next year, of course, we had COVID, which wasn't, didn't have sports. Um, and then coming back for my junior year, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, but I wanted to try something new. And uh, the kayaking coach kind of tracked me down and he was like, you should do kayaking. Uh, and I committed to it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do kayaking. And then I ended up doing it and it was wicked fun. Probably one of my favorite sports. I've only done it a little bit, but it's, it's very fun and a little bit scary, but a, a healthy amount of scary, a lot of fun. That's great. And, um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to jump into like, I think a really important topic um, with afternoon programming at Proctor. And I'm going to loop in uh, the session from last week too. So Chris Bartlett was on with some students um, and this is recorded and it's on our website and it just talks about Proctor as a whole. Um, but I think for the parents and, and students at home, kids, uh, you know, Proctor is a pretty dynamic school. There's a lot happening here. You've got access to arts, travel, um, so much. Like, how do you how do you fit all of that, and can you fit that all into your schedule while still being an athlete or participating in these program afternoon programs at Proctor? Well, um, <laughs> so I would say Proctor does a really great job with um, providing you a lot of time. We go from classes and then straight to sports. And then there's like this nice like gap time in between like dinner and study hall, where if you're someone who's like really interested in art beyond just doing art in like a classroom, you can be like an art major and go into Slocum, our art building and spend time there. Um, and also like Proctor, like if you end up deciding like, oh, you wanna be in theater more, you can like switch it up each year if you really aren't devoted to one sport, but you can definitely do a lot of different things. Um, I know for me personally, it's, there's definitely a lot of like 
free time, but it's like structural too. So it's like, you don't, you're never like too stressed or like you feel like you don't have enough work or anything like that. So after dinner, which is usually right after sports, um, it differs in the winter a bit, but fall and spring, it's pretty consistent. Um, and so you have about an hour to an hour and a half before a study hall at 7.30 to either like hang out with your friends, um, sit and talk at dinner for like longer, which is honestly one of the best parts of my day because I'm able to see like all the soccer girls who I don't really see that often. Um, um, and it's just awesome to like be able to talk to them like after sports and like catch up on your days. Um, and also like if you're feeling extra stressed, you can go in earlier, start your work. Um, we also have a lot of extra help sessions held by teachers. Um, so if you're feeling stressed about a class or have any questions, there's always extra helps available um, during that time period and super accessible or math first aid um, or like writing peer tutoring. Um, which is also an option. So there's a lot of like flexibility there. Yeah, I, mean, I can add on to that, that I think there's definitely like, it's the best way to put it, that you can really have a lot of flexibility here. Like I'll get, get out of classes, go to practice every day. And then I'll still have plenty of time to, I mean, I started a waffle club last year. So I basically like, I could go play a soccer game, finish that, and then go sell waffles to kids that wanted to come by them. Or if you want to join a club during club time or, go talk to a teacher for extra help. Like there's plenty of opportunity to get to all of that and do it all, uh, do it well. Yeah, Proctor's schedule is pretty balanced um, and supports you in your different um, hobbies and stuff you love to do. Stuart and I are running the coffee house this year, which is a student space and we have plenty of time to get the inventory for it um, and we have meetings too in between that time of sports and dinner um, and sports and study hall but definitely there's you're given a lot of chances to try out new hobbies and new activities and new clubs and i really like that just like anything else it just takes practice like there's chunks of time at this part of the day in the middle of the day there's a a club block on Tuesdays that's sort of like a free space where you can go meet with the club. And then there's that that space gap between dinner and or between sports and study hall where you want to eat dinner, but beyond that, there's no real structure. So there's all, all these little gaps throughout the day where you can add in your own type of thing, whether that's a personal hobby, you want to go skateboard or you want to do art or, or anything like that. We, we work on the coffee house. Um, there's there's openings and, and as you're here, or you can practice and work on filling those spaces. You can go meet with teachers, plan extra helps, whatever, whatever you need to do. It's really cool. Yeah, thank you guys. That's, that's kind of a mega question. <laughs> that's like everything encompassed in one. Um, but, uh, but we have had a few questions about specific programs. And I just preface this by saying in the admissions process, we're gonna, we're gonna really work hard to connect you with coaches um, and students uh, who are playing these respective sports. Um, and they can, they can really answer a lot of questions. But I think for tonight, it's also just kind of interesting to hear from these guys just about some of these sports. Um, so it doesn't have to be too long of an answer, um, but like nice little overviews. But, um, but basically, uh, maybe Stuart, we'll start with you, but someone did ask about cross country running. So maybe you could talk about, or you're not a cross country runner. How about this, anyone, if you have friends or anyone who cross country runs, maybe you can just do like a quick stab at it. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, so you want to go? No, that's all you. Are you sure? Okay. I'll be, I'll be quick. Um, so I've never been a cross country runner. Um, but my friend Meg, um, and a lot of students who've graduated, um, were big cross country runners. Um, and it was always, they had so much fun on the team, but it also was like, they did play like pretty rigorous schools. Um, and I think, I, I don't remember their name, but there's one girl on our team, um, Proctor team, who won like overall. So it's a pretty competitive, that was a, two years ago, I think. It's a pretty competitive program um, and also very fun as well as track, if that is kind of something you're interested in too. Um, my sister Nora did track here at Proctor um, and that was also very competitive. They did like this tournament type thing where they played schools like St. George's, even like schools outside of like our region. Um, so that was pretty cool. She was able to like meet other people from like other schools other than like the typical schools we play. So it's definitely like a pretty competitive league, track and cross country. 
Yeah, great. And we're going to just limit it to one person. So the next, there was a question about lacrosse. So maybe um, we can have like uh, one of each um, team just talk briefly about like the lacrosse program. Yeah, I can touch on that a little bit. Um, coming to Proctor last year, um, we had a pretty solid lacrosse team. Um, all the guys got to know each other very well through either other sports in the fall and winter or just coming together in the spring. The chemistry is, is I thought it was super well, uh, it worked super well. We all like clicked. Um, we play in a pretty competitive league. We got teams like New Hampton and Brewster who are always like super stacked. So you never have to worry about the competition. It's always super high. You can always get good highlights. Um, and our ability to um, connect with college coaches and reach out to the next level um, is also, it's pretty strong. So if you're looking to play, let's say lacrosse at that next level, we have ways that you can do that and get recruited. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then uh, maybe, maybe Catherine. Um, so I do varsity lacrosse. Um, it's not my main sport, but it definitely is a sport that I really love. And um, so I started lacrosse in seventh grade, but um, in my freshman year, we've had a few different coaches, but every single year, like the chemistry of the girls has always been so like awesome. Like before games, we'll play a lot of like loud music and like just get, get each other like hyped up for the game, um, which is always so much fun. It's also like we, I went, I went to Nevada with my lacrosse team um, for Proctor my freshman spring. Um, and we played like a lot of schools like Cushing, um, Loomis Chafee, uh, a bunch of schools that we usually can't play. And that was for about a week long. And we got like professionally coached by like um, these people. I can't remember their names or what school they went to, but they were pretty like professional and up there. Um, so we were got coached by them and we got into the season um, really prepared because a lot of the girls from that trip also were playing. Um, and so that was really fun. Last year, we were pretty competitive. We've had a lot of kids um, go play like at Sacred Heart. Um, one of my friends, Nat, is playing um, at Hobart William Smith for lacrosse um, going into her freshman year. So it's definitely a competitive program. And we play, as Brody said, a lot of other competitive schools and other students. So lacrosse is so much fun. And if you guys are interested in that, Proctor is the place for lacrosse. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. And um, I'm going to take a little detour from the individual sports for a second, because we have had a few questions. There's one about, um, you know, being a PG student coming in and playing on a lacrosse team. Um, and then also just like, is it hard to just assimilate, right? Is it hard to join a team that's already established, like at a school like Proctor? Um, and I could answer it, but I'm going to let you guys answer it. Um, but uh, but yeah, so if, if anyone can kind of speak to that, what it's like coming in new and joining a team that's, you know, a high level. I can speak to that. I think Proctor does like an excellent job of integrating their kids, especially like when it comes to sports. Um, I mean, we're on our what third or fourth week this year, and it basically feels like our soccer team, we had, I don't know, six or seven new kids this year, which is a pretty decent amount. And it basically feels like they're just integrated onto the team at this point. Like they're not new kids anymore. They're all, we're all just buddies. Um, and I think this is my third year doing it. And even when I was new at the school, it was like, you're definitely a new kid in the first week or two, but it fizzles out very quickly and you're very quickly just friends with everyone on the team. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Um, Brody, did you want to jump in there too? Yeah, um, coming in as a new student, um, like chemistry wise, I guess, fitting in, um, it's, it was not an issue at all. Just the get mo most people that I met my first like week or two at Proctor, they're all just super nice, super welcoming. And like Trey said, it didn't feel like I was a new kid for a long time. And then um, I don't think we have anyone who plays football on the team, but can someone kind of like maybe explain just what that's like for those guys and how many teams there are? Um, and if you can't, that's okay. I can, I can jump in. 
Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, but basically with the football and, and again, the, for the person that asked that question, um, we'll connect you with coaches and we'll, we can dive much deeper, but um, we do have two teams, but those teams practice together. Uh, and so there's a big emphasis on leadership, starting with the older um, varsity players down to the JV players. And so the JV players go to the games, they're part of the scene, um, but they just don't really step on the field for those varsity contests. Um, and it's, uh, it's a good mix of students that, you know, have football, football backgrounds and want to play in college to kids that are landing there as a sport they're interested in, um, to kids that are trying it for the first time. So um, really kind of dynamic, and we'll, we'll touch more on that um, in the admissions process for you. Uh, and then there was a, a question about freestyle skiing, but maybe we can talk about like freestyle ski, snow sports in general, um, especially, you know, I think alpine skiing where you know, you might be playing a sport in the fall, but you're really also training for that, for that season on snow. I can talk a little bit about freestyle and then send it to Brody. Um, I have not done freestyle, but I'm, I'm from Colorado. So I've been around that for a while. Um, grew up in Aspen where the X games is held. Cool thing. Beyond that, I've got a lot of friends who do freestyle. Um, and I actually am really tempted to switch over because it sounds like a really, really awesome team. Uh, super chill dynamic. A lot of times you'll see them on the Proctor ski hill, just hanging out in the, in the park, session jumps and rails all day long. Um, you'll see a lot of people progress really fast because that's all you're doing. You're just going up and down and trying new tricks. Uh, there's people motivating you, but totally respectful of your boundaries. And we go over to Ragged Mountain and they have a great skate. Mm, they have a great terrain park um, with a really wide range of features. So you can be hitting huge 10 foot kickers uh, or you can be learning how to hit jumps at all on their, their smaller features. So it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, I can touch a little bit on like the Alpine piece. Um, I am one of two seniors on the FIST team this year and training for skiing is obviously a big part of it in the off season. And a cool thing about Proctor is that we actually offer as a fall activity, a whole um, like program called Alpine training, which basically, which one of the women's FIST coach runs. And you basically just every day after class, you go in and you train for Alpine skiing. It's a lot of cardio agility work, a little bit of power stuff. It's all super fun. And Craig is really good at like helping you learn how to do basic movements like cleans or, um, you know, box jumps, all the ski specific exercises that'll help train you to be faster on the slopes in the winter. And then on a lower level from fist skiing, there's um, the varsity alpine team, which is really fun. Stuart and I are on it together. Um, not intimidating at all. I had only skied two years before I started the alpine team. Um, and it's really fun. The team is really unified. Um, we have people every year coming in who have never skied before even. Um, and it's a very fun environment, lots of joking happening, but there you also develop um, some good skills and you'd be surprised by the, like how good you'll be at the end of the season. Yeah, that's great. And then um, we'll kind of cover the last like sp sport specific question. Um, and it really was around hockey. Um, so, you know, I think, Trey, you've talked a little bit about hockey. Maybe, maybe you could just kind of give an overview of what it's like, you know, in the program, in this league. Um, and, uh, and just, yeah, maybe a little bit more background. And there was also a question about baseball. So maybe you could talk about hockey and then, you know, your baseball experience too. All right. Um, I mean, yeah, hockey, I don't really know where to start. Um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's pretty big at Proctor. Like well, pretty much the majority of kids coming here to play hockey are coming here so they can play at the next level and so that they have the best opportunity to do that um so like in the fall there's kids that for a fall activity they basically help the guys in the rink and help them set up the ice and they're skating just about every day um we'll have captain's practices in the fall there was one tonight um we and then i guess we have the weight room open in the winter we'll have 
team video all the time, team lifts, practices every day. And then um, like sports specific, I guess this is like the best hockey you're probably going to get in the area and like arguably in the country. It's some of the best hockey you're playing. Some of the best teams like Kimball Union is incredible. Tillman's really good. Um, New Hampton, like you're playing really good hockey here. And I think it's like, there's definitely the culture that it's very competitive and it's a very strong program here. Um, I'm not sure if I left anything out there, Hunter, that you can touch to, but. No. Yeah. And I, I just think, um, you know, it also translates just cause we don't have a female hockey player on the panel, but it translates into the, the female pro, uh, for girls varsity hockey as well. Um, I'm actually the head coach for that program. Um, and you know, it is, it is a great league and it is one of the better leagues, um, that you can play in, in the country, uh, for this age group. And the best part about it is that you get a really good education while being able to compete. Um, and I think we, uh, we work really hard to, you know, build confidence and build skills and help kids get to the next level. Um, but, uh, but maybe just kind of segue into kind of your baseball experience too. Um, um, yeah, so baseball, it's a little tougher for me to touch on just cause I've had three tough seasons in the sense that I basically missed two cause of COVID. Um, and then last year was like a shortened season where we played basically two teams had six games, but hopefully that's done with. Um, but yeah, the baseball team's awesome. Uh, Marks, he's definitely a great coach. He keeps it fun, but also very competitive at the same time. And it's always just a great group of guys going out, having fun. And like, we're seeing definitely some good competition. We were seeing lefties throw in mid eighties last year. Those couple of kids that can touch 90 in the league. Um, it's definitely... I mean, it's always, we're having a good time playing baseball, but it's still very competitive and we care whether we win or not. Yeah. And let's push this out to the group. Um, the, 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 you guys are all building relationships every single day with faculty, with students. Um, but let's talk specifically about your program leaders and coaches. Like maybe you guys can kind of go around and just share um, a few people that have been pretty impactful to, for you um, in your time at Proctor. I, I got a good one for this. Um, so the mountain biking coaches and the varsity alpine coaches have a lot of crossover. Chris Farrell and Josh Norris both coach both of those two. Um, nope, Josh Norris is the head coach for mountain biking and Chris Farrell is the head coach for alpine or varsity alpine. Um, and both of those guys are awesome. Chris is a nope. Josh is also my calculus teacher. Um, Chris also teaches calculus and both of them teach physics as well. Uh, and I'm interested in that, that direction of academics as well. Um, so it's really cool to build relationships there, both in mountain biking and skiing, and then taking that back to the classroom. Uh, and they're both really great guys. Um, I can touch on that. <laughs> um, anyway, so Trish and Kate Austin are my field hockey coaches, and Kate also is the assistant coach for lacrosse. Um, but these two coaches have been very impactful on me just because um, I've been with them for all four years, so they've watched me grow as a player and a person. Um, and they've always been very consistent coaches. They don't never get angry. Um, they're always respectful, and they really teach us the importance of sportman sportsmanship. Because that's something that our field hockey team really values. Um, if a team that we're playing is getting super aggressive, we kind of take a step back and we're mature. Um, and they really have helped ingrained that value um, in our team. Um, as well as Jill and Carl, who are the JV hockey coaches. Um, they're always very like into conversation and they you can tell that they really care. Um, about how you're doing and like how your day was um, and how everything's going. Um, but all the coaches that I've had have been so great, um, whether it's on the JV or the varsity level, um, you can tell that they really care like about academics and how you're doing. Um, Kate and Trish will always be, at the be like at the beginning of the year, um, always know that you can reach out to us if you're feeling stressed about academics or school. Um, and they make it known that there's other players on the team who are sufficient in math or like English. Um, and the whole team like has a very good relationship with those coaches and it's very mutual. To go off what uh, Catherine was saying about Trish and Kate, um, they're also my field hockey coaches. 
they also make sure that like as a team we really work together and that it's not like one individual who's taking up the ball the whole game or is like making the team especially this year like we really as a team have grown together and like use each other and all our strengths to become like one <laughs> good like great team um and then for tennis I have Mel as my coach and she really helps me get through the times when um, I'm losing. I played um, the number one seed last spring and we we're playing against St. Paul's and it was a tiebreaker 7-7. Seven, seven. And I was like really frustrated with the girl. <laughs> she kept laughing and it was just a hard match, but I was able to come back and win. And Mel just taught me to keep my cool. So. Um, going back to what Stuart was saying and to piggyback on Catherine, um, Stuart and I overlap a lot with our sports. We're on the mountain biking and the alpine team together. And Chris, your coaches really, um, especially if you follow through, like if you're on a sport um, two years around or for your entire Proctor career, your coaches will really become mentors to you um, and become the people you can seek out on campus when you're having a bad day, when you need a little help in a class or um, need advice on what classes you're gonna take. Um, in our mountain biking preseason, we were in Stowe, Vermont, um, and Chris and Josh is really handy because all of us had our summer math homework to do and Chris and Josh were all helping us out. Um, <laughs> And it's really fun to be able to overlap with your coaches in school. Um, and they're really there to support you. Yeah, I mean, I can talk to all three of my coaches, uh, Walsh, Ian, and Mark. They're all, I mean, they all come out, they wanna win. They're all awesome coaches in the sports sense. But I think what's more important with like a lot of the coaches at Proctor is they care about you as a person too. Like they want to see you develop as a person and they want to see you do well academically and just with the way you treat people on campus. Like if you do something and there's a problem with it, they'll tell you immediately and they'll make sure it gets fixed. And I think in the long term, it's more important that it's like they're not the type of coaches that are going to say, oh, this kid's being a bad teammate or just a bad person on campus, but I'm still going to throw them out there. Like if you're misbehaving or doing bad, they're going to sit you down and say, you're not playing the sport until you figure it out. And that definitely goes a long way. And you can see it as kids develop throughout the season that it makes a difference. Yeah, and um, so I want you guys on the panel to start thinking about maybe some memorable moments um, that you've had, you know, kind of through afternoon programming. And, uh, but before we get to that question, um, maybe someone can just talk about like all the different programs that exist at Proctor, like try to like rattle off some different things that kids do in the afternoon. Um, and maybe we'll just start a little, like, like someone could start and someone could jump in if they can think of other programs, just to kind of give people at home a sense for, you know, kind of the variety that is here. Anyone want to try to tackle that? Um, I can try to tackle that. Um, well, I know a few kids who have done not necessarily like in the sports aspect, but still like a very valid afternoon activity, um, theater, and either they're ha helping back scenes or they're part of the play um, that's, or dance. Um, last year, dance was also very big. Um, we had Anne, who now isn't here anymore, but it, the dance program is still going. But um, Anne would come, she was the director, and she would come and tell me all these fun stories and like fun moments from dance. Um, and those group of girls always had such a fun time. I remember I went to watch their dance performance and like they had the lights going um, and a lot of people came and it was like a really big production. There was like solos, duets, a big group dance and they were working on that for the whole fall. Um, so dance was, was and still is um, big here at Proctor um, and theater as well. We have a Shrek play coming up in the spring, um, which has already been like announced. Um, it takes a while for them to like produce these plays, but there's a lot of effort that goes into them. Um, and it's definitely very like impactful for the community um, because we can see like, another side that we don't always see. Um, and we can see like the, all the hard work that these students have done, but yeah. 
There's rock climbing, which is a very fun, um, fun afternoon activity. I know also like to go off of Catherine's, the um, arts afternoon activities, there's jazz rock ensemble. Um, yeah, those are the ones that I can think of. We got woods team. Uh, that's a pretty cool one. You go out into the woods, uh, cut firewood for the dorms, a couple of the dorms on campus. They use firewood to heat them. Uh, there's tech. Uh, those are the people who take uh, a lot of the videos of these sports games. Um, there are a couple of kids uh, like doing weight room, which Brody sort of touched on. Uh, there's all the team sports that we talked about, soccer, baseball, football, lacrosse, et cetera, et cetera, um, kayaking. Um, there's ski patrol, I think is what we call it. Um, you basically just help out with um, the ski hill at Proctor and you get really cool jackets. There's ski jumping, oh, sorry. Free skiing. Community service, um, you help out around campus. Athletic training assistant. Yeah, I love it. I just, I wanted you, I just wanted to hear from you guys. Um, and, uh, and really for the people at home, you know, following up on our webpage, uh, you can look and see what the afternoon activities are per season, because it does go fall, winter and spring. So the kids are changing up um, as they go through the seasons. Um, and before we get to that memorable question, I just want to I just want to reiterate that, you know, in the admissions process, we want to connect you with coaches. Um, we want you to get to know our students, um, their philosophies uh, or the coaches philosophies, but really, you know, don't leave any rock unturned um, in the process. Uh, the other side, I saw a few questions about, you know, providing video. Um, you know, many of our varsity programs do recruit. So in that process of contacting coaches. Um, they might ask for video, you might provide it. It's definitely welcomed. Um, and more importantly, we try to come watch you, especially now that so many things are live streamed. Um, and, uh, and then the last thing I wanna say before we get into that last question is, um, you know, there's a place for everyone to land. So, you know, hockey has a varsity program. Yeah, it's high level, but you know, there's JV um, as well, which, you know, can be pretty high level, but there's also, it's just a place for everyone to land. Um, same with, you know, soccer, softball, basically all the team sports are going to have um, a place for you to land, no matter what your ability is. Um, and many of the, the other programming in the outdoor sports, um, community service, arts, you know, they, they, they take all, you know, no matter what your ability is. Um, but so let's open the floor to, uh, to you guys and, and maybe just kind of each one of you can just share a memorable moment. Um, I was just thinking of memorable moments and there's a lot of them, but I would say one of my favorites um, is from my freshman year during Holderness weekend, which is like a huge um, weekend for Holderness and Proctor because that's our rival, main rival school for many sports. Um, and it was my freshman year. It was pouring rain. It was very cold. I'm not going to lie. Um, but everyone stayed out for varsity girls soccer. Um, everyone was like cheering them on. No one even cared how cold it was because we were there for our team, um, our like community. And it was really fun. They ended up winning. Um, I, from what I can recall. Um, and that was just a memory that I really remember. Um, because it really just showed how like into it everyone was, everyone was like screaming, like, let's go. Um, and also beating Holderness last weekend, because that was just so exciting to see how far my team has come since my freshman year when even last year we tied them, but Holderness weekend didn't go as we planned, but I'm hoping that we can beat them during Holderness weekend um, and can continue that streak. But those are just some fun memories. I got a fond memory from also sophomore year, mountain biking. Um, it was actually one of the kids was on the first slide, the guy on the mountain bike, uh, Durs. There was this uh, group of uh, juniors and seniors who in my mind were like the cool kids. They were all really good mountain bikers, fast, uh, super nice, uh, and athletes. Uh, a lot of them were high level skiers as well. Um, and I remember hiking up into the woods with these guys after practice uh, with shovels that we borrowed from the, the maintenance shed. 
and we'd hike up into the woods and build gnarly drops and jumps and all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, and then we'd just uh, rip it down the loam trails uh, and it was, it was totally a blast. Um, my sophomore year, I tried Nordic skiing or like cross country skiing. And for our last race um, or last race competition, everyone had like gone out wanting to win and like the whole team really wanted to win girls. <laughs> and we got to the very end of the race. My friend Annika told me that she wanted to hold my hand to cross the finish line, but I didn't hear her. So she ended up tripping me <laughs> and we both ended up falling and then having like five girls pass us. And although we ended up getting pretty low, it was really fun and always <laughs> a good memory to look back on. I can go next. Um, I remember last year, it was during the winter. Um, there had been a gnarly race up at Waterville Valley, I think. It was cold, dark most of the day. I had a terrible day. Uh, I remember coming back. We were staying up in the uh, Lincoln, I think, because we were heading to um, Adatash the next that next morning. I remember coming back to the house all upset and beat myself up. And then the group of us, us skiers, came together and just ripped the most competitive and epic ping pong tournament I think there I've ever seen. And that really turned my day around. That just goes to show the, the bond you can make with your teammates. It's very important. Yeah, I guess I'd have to say my best sports moment at Proctor would have to be two years ago um, for the hockey team in the semifinals, we played KUA. And it was just, it was a super fun game. Like our whole, it was at KUA and tons of kids from Proctor took buses over and our fan section was packed and their fan section was packed and everyone was going crazy the whole game. And we ended up upsetting them to beat them three, two in the semifinals. So that was definitely a pretty exciting moment. Yeah. And um, it's interesting how many of you, you know, they like talk about the team, right. And, uh, and just the group that you're with. Uh, and I think that's really important because ultimately, you know, like we talked about before, when you, when you start in a new school, um, you are joining, you know, kind of established teams or programs, and that can be a little nerve wracking. Um, and I think, uh, you know, just, just part of who we are and kind of the people of Proctor, are, it's a pretty special place. Um, but I really I appreciate you guys for, um, taking the time uh, to, to meet with everybody tonight. Uh, it looks like, you know, we might end a little bit early, um, but, uh, but I, think, uh, I think we covered a lot of good topics on this and, and really for the families out there, you know, just please, um, you know, in the admissions process, reach out, uh, let us know when you book an appointment or you fill out an inquiry, if you'd like to meet with a coach um, and we'll, we'll connect you and, um, and, and really let you kind of dive deep into what each program is all about. Um, and, uh, and there are a few questions on the chat that, you know, maybe we didn't answer completely and, and I'm just going to take your names down and I'll try to, I'll try to reach out to you individually and we can chat a little bit more if it helps. Um, but again, thank you guys. Thanks for a great night. Um, you got to say goodbye with this on my head. You know, that's just what we do, but go Proctor. Have Thanks, a great night. Guys. Have a good night. Thank you.